I, well, in my speech, I did mention about the history of MCA in the past 61 years. In fact, I, I did uh, remind my fellow members that whenever we talk about reform, don't ever think that is the uh, monopoly of opposition or monopoly of individuals in the wilderness. But rather, we ourselves in the ruling coalition, we must always be mentally prepared to initiate changes in our own self in order to keep abreast with the changing times the changing parameters of politics. And I lamented in the past history of MCA in the course of initiating such changes in the name of reform, there were leaders who had been sacrificed politically. Sometimes or many a times due to due to circumstances. That is the price they had paid for in politics. And now that after I had taken over, the, uh, the baton of uh, leadership in MCA, I had such a dream of initiating some changes in the political culture in my own party. But I must also admit that to err is human and I am of no exception. Perhaps, perhaps I had oversimplified a such a move or such a change. And I apologize for any uh, for any errors that I might have made in the course of initiating such changes. And in my speech I did mention that I personally that could be I personally would take the, the blame could even be a demonized, if any, but I had, I have the duty, I'm duty bound to ensure that my party's integrity, my party's credibility not be punished or not be punished by any quarters simply because of the reforms that we are embarking on. We might have encroached into certain territories of vested interests of others unknowingly, but we mean good for the people, for the party. And uh, today, I must, reiter I must reiterate or reassure my fellow members that we must continue to spearhead the reform, in particular in spearheading good governance through transparency, accountability and uh, integrity. And uh, well, I, I did mention that. And of course, towards the end, I did mention well, I said I, I must apologize for not being able to come up to the dais in my usual strikes because people might be wondering why I uh, walk up the, uh, the dais with wobbling steps. But I said I make an effort to discard the wheelchair to discard the crutches 
that I rely upon in the past few weeks, I told myself that come my party anniversary, I must make a point to walk up to the stage on my own feet. That is the message I sent across. And also, I reminded my fellow members that we are here, in fact, since our ancestors era till now, we have never had any crutches and we must be able to stand on our own feet. Well, in fact, the thing is that AGM, AGM is AGM, AGM is meant for all delegates. You see that? AGM is meant for all delegates and uh, as leaders or delegates, we should know our obligations to the party. Okay. So uh, that normally we don't need to remind uh, our delegates or leaders uh, on their obligations. Well, I presume my party colleagues had said that, had a uh, uh, issue statement earlier in my absence. And uh, we take cognizance of the fact that the uh, Prime Minister is not coming and also we fully understand and we fully understand the scenario and uh, at the same time I think that makes it all the more relevant for us you know, to uh, conduct our meeting uh, in the most disciplined way possible in accordance with the party constitution because we need to we need to fulfill uh, the obligations or the requirements the requirements uh, as what has been put uh, clearly to the media by my party colleagues that uh, we could not we could not further postpone the agent.